Well, today is the day. It is November 2nd, 2023. And we are going to start shelling corn. We've got a couple of trucks on the way. One just passed us. They're going to stage on the other side of the road. So we have started on the first day on this particular farm in the past. And we're going to go ahead and get started here today. So as you can see, there's a little bit of snow on the ground. We probably could have combined some yesterday, but we had a pretty good covering of snow. So we decided to hold off. First bit of corn is going through the combine. Got to make sure it enters the bin here. rolling out of the combine probably some remnants of wheat dust left over so we'll just have to see how it goes they're hauling manure as well Alex is actually running solo today in the Peterbilt. Jared's running the Mac. Timothy's running the C5. And Sarge is running the Western Star. So we're coming in at 27% moisture. We've got a good sized ditch right there. We are... No, we're running this narrow head, so we got to be kind of careful that uh, that the fields now, the ditch hasn't undermined the field. So we're kind of paying attention to that. So we're going to keep, uh, keep her lit here, and we'll see how things go. I should get out and do a little walk around, but we'll wait till we've gotten all the way around the field. That amount of corn coming in the bed. You guys can't quite see it. It's going good. Thought the ground would be uh, wetter than it is, but it seems to be pretty firm here. They're staging trucks right on the other side of the road. Sarah should be here in a little bit. She's running the green buggy today. Revolution all the way around the field. Got the truck staged right over there. And everything's going pretty good. We're going to go ahead and stop here. And we're going to unload. We're not going to unload on the go. We're just going to sit in one place here. That way, uh, Sarah doesn't have to travel too far. A little bit of wheat came out there. What do you know? Sarah hasn't got to travel too far to get over to the truck. Uh, you'll notice that we don't have any corn on the ground. However, what you will notice is I've got very small cobs on the ground. I stopped just shy of this area and I backed up 
when I stopped up there I backed up and I was able to see all the small cobs so I had to open up the concave a little bit so that we weren't breaking as many cobs we've got corn in the grain tank we've got corn coming out of the auger into the grain buggy and we don't have any corn on the ground main thing is you want to have it come in the front not go out the back and you want to have the good stuff go in the tank so we don't need to get out and walk around and roll around on our hands and knees and sift through the debris and whatever like that just to show you how smart we are we're just going to tell you that we've got some good stuff going on here so we'll keep her going here um yielded pretty well this is a channel variety in this field that is 206 something or other and uh when rob came up to look at this he said hey uh you're gonna expect over 200 bushel there because he sized up the ears and walked the field counted the corn stalks and he gave a an estimate of 206 bushel on a 206 variety imagine that maybe it's going 210 i don't know how much it's going but it's yielded pretty good um yeah so we'll keep her going um just gonna be boring combine and stuff uh we were 25 and 26 percent around on this east side once i got over to the west side of the field it got it got up to 30 percent so you see we have some cob pieces in the car which we're not too awful concerned about this sample here anyways because it is going in the silo now years ago when we put corn in the open silo we would put a lot of cob in and what we would do is we we had two sets of screens we have another set of screens or sieves for this combine as well and they have every other uh great piece taken out of the sieve so that cobs will fall through um some guys will just open their sieves up a little bit and they'll close their concave down so as to get some cob material into the well the fancy term is sample but in the grain tank so we'll keep uh keep ahead of it here the 12 row planter planted this field so we ought to be pretty well matched up or uh for this little six row combine everybody on youtube's here has replaced their combine in the last year or two however we have not let's see if we can get through the whole season here with no breakdowns i'll disclose in a little while how many acres we've got to do i actually have to add it up <laughs> so we'll see how she goes well we are actually into the following day this will be the first full day of high moisture corn for 2023 we're gonna unload a couple of loads into the silo and then we'll roll on to the field and we'll get started we've got the 8220 on this roller mill it's been running for a little bit here we'll go ahead and get it started
just about to where the equipment is staged. We had two strips on our right hand side that we did here last night. The first field that we started with was that one and then we did the strip on the other side of that hay field there. So it looks as though Sarah has fuel in the combine already and um, we'll get this truck parked and to stop the shift. <laughs> That's what happens when you're tied up with holding on to a camera. But we're staging the trucks over in this field to our left. We've got one that's parked there overnight. Like she's got the fuel compartment still open. She must want me to uh, check her work, make sure she's got the fuel cap on. So she's washing windows and she's waiting ever so patiently for me to get on in there and get moving. So we've got three narrow strips up the road to do and uh, we've got a couple of fields on the other side of. Route 20. We're south of 20 right now. We just came off of Route 20. And uh, we're actually right across from the Burn Dairy store here. Uh, Burn Dairy and McDonald's are right in this area for locals that are around here. So I need to back up and get situated here. You getting these windows all nice and clean? You already you already filled the combine, right? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. All right. Load that truck eight first. And um, yeah. All right. Well, we'll get fired up with this uh, unit. Check the oil, give a quick walk around. Looks like all of the tires are up. Everything looks to be in good order. We get nervous about that fuel cap. We had one numbskull one time. Didn't get the fuel cap on. And what had happened was the combine burped fuel out. And when it burped fuel out, it all got in the radiator. All right. Looks as though we had a little bit of corn spill on over. The can here, which is not good. We usually don't have cab corn. The tarp prevents that. However, we do run into engine compartment corn, which is not good. So you don't want this corn going down in and hitting the fan. So we probably should put some flat bar on there so that that can't do Well, we'll let this warm up for a minute. We do have part of a grain tank load on, so we must well go over and dump that off in that truck. And then we'll go get started. Looks like she's still got a couple of windows left to wash here yet. That'll give her a chance to get those done.
have uh, washing windows on them tractors sometimes sometimes it's easier if you put the three-point hitch down and stand on that hopefully she doesn't fall off in there got a truck here already we need to get moving shove a new pin on in there. Deer still here. Well, there must be a doe in there. You see them? Hey, what is that? Is that a dead deer in the middle of a lot? You see that, or is that just a cardstock? Right, right there behind the deer in the haylot. Is that something there? No. like there's something 
in that field. I don't know if it's just corn stalks or if there's a dead deer laying there. But maybe one of their buddies got tagged over here and uh, went over in the field and died. I don't know. We'll have to back up here in a second and take a peek at that. So we end up shearing pens ever, ever so often. Every once in a while anyways. No real reason. Everything on that drive side is new or been rebuilt. They put a new auger and a tube on this combine last summer Kaz did um, so there's you know there, it's not like we're working with wore out components to whereas they work hard the augers in the bin are decent they're not the greatest but they're decent um, everything seems to turn freely just however every once in a while we shear a pin off no big deal didn't quite have a full full bin but um, I wanted to get unloaded anyway alright let's idle down Put the separator on head on crank up wide open now let's go and see if we see something in the middle of the field here that I assume was a dead deer. deer was in heat it might still be alive yeah deer was in heat both of them bucks got after it and killed it <laughs> all right we'll keep after it here The sun is now out, shining nice and bright. I was hoping that it was going to stay cloudy. So we've got one more strip on the upper side of this to do. 
and Sarah's having to travel a short little distance to get to where we have the truck staged. So with that being said, that is going to do it for this video. I want to thank everybody for watching and we will see you at the next one. Take it easy, folks. You guys can see it or not but that buck is hanging around that doe again that deer must have been in heat it's pawing at the ground it's having a heck of a time wants that deer to get up and participate but it ain't happening to do. Think you're going to have to find another one, bud. Keep saying, get up, honey. Don't lay down. I need you standing. Oh, boy. That one's lying there for him, but...